This is a new kind of entertainment. Let me show it to you. Watch this. Where are you? It's kids? 4 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? Free your mind. Well, they could be right here at the limelight, one of New York's premier night spots. They're called club kids. And they party all night and sleep all day. I sleep during the day and I watch, I wake up for, I wake up in time for Phil. I wake up in time for Phil, I watch Phil, and then uh, I start getting pretty again and then I come out. Honey, you know, I'm so bored. Can we arrange our classes around our nightlife schedule? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it's much more important than that. Oh, yeah. It's well, much more important, but I'm my baby. baby. Oh. They bring paying customers into the club, and their popularity can make or break a New York well, night spot. Um, a lot of the nightclubs um, and the promoters, they like to hire us uh, either as decorations or as uh, entertainment feature for the evening. I'm hired, I bartend, I uh, hostess, I dance, I do whatever they want me to as long as I get to dress up, it's my fetish. It can be a stepping stone. It can also be like a roadblock. You know, and you can, it can, you can like, you know, overdose and die, you know. Could one of these club kids be your son or daughter? Here they are, the club kids. I'm telling you, this is the latest. You got to know about this. Keep your eye on these people. These young men and women. Well, this. Who are these people? What is the point here? Let me let me try and explain this. This is the latest form of entertainment. These young people stay out all night and sleep all day. There are clubs all over America, certainly here in New York wherein the club manager pays young people to dress like this to draw other people into the club for a wonderful evening of dancing and alcohol. <laughs> of course. What? Of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michael, you make your living doing this, do you? Do I? I mean, yes. <laughs> Are you Michael Oleg? Uh-huh. That's good. Alec. Alec. All right, we're off to a good start. Uh, you, you're, from, uh, you're from Indiana, uh -huh. and you did it there? I, I did it there. No, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing to do there. Yeah. Uh, you you get paid by club managers to dress up and encourage people to come to the club. Do I understand this? Well, uh, yeah, I, I suppose it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a I talk mean, show, it's Michael. Like, if you uh, don't share with us, <laughs> 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 explain to these people what happens. What is this okay, about? Well, then, no, that maybe really I should. <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> you're all dropouts. You're ne'er do wells. You have no focus in your That's life. It. You have no <laughs> idea what you're going to do. You're young and you're out for a good time. You're hedonistic. All you care is about <laughs> fun and games <laughs> and the whole. Here, <laughs> these these are your children. Show them over here, Brian. <laughs> Now, really, really, you enjoy what you do. Yes. Oh, my God. A good no. chocolate chip. Tell me, Richie. Yeah, baby. Tell me. You um, I mean, you know, everybody's really into the scene, and we live for it, but so, uh, we would also use the clubs as, um, kind of something a to do something stone. else. Yeah, stepping right. stone, like a ladder. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, we all, you know, a lot of people look really colorful and crazy or what have top. you, but right. we're all future superstars, yeah. if not now. Jenny Talia, do you get it? Jenny Talia? Like You're from New York City. City. Her Jenny, know she's here. she doesn't know she's here, and she won't because she's all dressed. Jenny, you're only 16 years old. Yeah. Uh huh. And you come from a kind of a Park Avenue type family, do I understand? Park Avenue. So your father has a very good job, and so does your mother. Uh huh. And they don't know you do this. No. Right. Jenny, are you drug free? It's none of my business. This is not an investigation, yes, but that's the first thing. Very <laughs> what did he say to his mother? Yes, all my drugs are free. Uh, <laughs> drugs are free. You do this why, Jenny? Tell us. Um, I don't know, when I, when I, it was like a year ago, I went out, and I, I heard some about it, and, um, I knew something about it, and I went out, and I saw these people, and they were so fabulous, and I was, I was so amazed, and I just was really drawn to it, I guess, the artistic, the creative, just the people there, and 
It's so, so fabulous, fun. meaning so outrageous. I, I, so think, I, th I think what's important to remember is that this is a fantasy and that we're all just living our fantasies and we're all just like, if, if this girl here, this is how she feels that she should be and this is how he feels he should be and we're all just yeah. living. You better do it, baby. You are, are you are creating personality. Very good. You are James. Look at this audience, how thrilled they are with this program. Huh? We're, do you know we're, about this? You know about the clubs. Explain it to me. As you know, I'm hard of hearing. Uh, what is this about? We like to have fun. All us kids like to have fun and go out and have a good time. So that's what we want to do. Yeah. Give me just a second. So you enjoy this scene, then, so to speak. Well, I don't live in the city, so there's not a whole lot to do where we live. Uh huh. And is there a club where you live? No, nope, there's nothing where we live. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that would attract you. Well, there's nothing fun to do where we live, so like something fun and different and exciting would be good to do. Right. Where do you live? Connecticut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Connecticut, Connecticut goes Connecticut. to sleep, what, about 8.30 every about, night? About, yeah. and we all, well, well, here there's you nothing to do there here at your, all. Connecticut no, is a no, 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 that's a perfect thing. If you yeah. feel it, then you should live it, and you should do it and create your own scene. Fun is in your heart, you know. If, if you have fun where you are, you don't need do you to go anyplace. Do you want to come and, like, build to a club, like, in, Trump, in Connecticut? Go to Connecticut and just start, you and your friends start dressing up. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Let me just, let me just, stop me when you think I have misled this audience. Okay. You dress up like this because, first of all, it's fun and, hey. Certainly. It's a happy time of thing. And you also get paid by club owners to go out and encourage other young people to come into the club. Certainly. Where, in which club you can be the entertainment, you can be somebody to talk to. It's a different kind of scene for today's young people. You also do quite literally stay up all night. Is that right? Dancing and so on. You get home about 10 o'clock in the morning. I I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, Jenny, do I understand that your, your, your parents do not know that you leave this double life? You leave the apartment after they've gone to sleep. Is that right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Good. That's a good answer. Yeah. Well, they have, I mean, they have no idea. Or I sleep at other people's houses and we go out. Or if they, my parents go away for the weekend to their, you know, country house, I'll stay there and I'll go out. And, um, so they don't know. I mean... Uh, we have not heard from uh, Kevin. How you doing, Kevin? Oh, fine. <laughs> um, Kevin, you're 24. Do you have to be from Indiana to do this? Uh, uh, Michael Indiana. Alec is also from Indiana. Uh, you came to New York and you got into the club scene. Do I understand the, uh, um, your circumstances? He's a fashion designer, extent. but I don't think, because like, I think that a, big, a bad picture has already pre has been presented or like has been painted because you're saying that we have like no focus and that like we're just like that we have nothing to do that we, we we're dropouts. I mean, I, I have like I have a college degree. I know exactly what I'm doing. I have like my focus. I have a goal, and like, I use the clubs like as like my showcase for my designs. And I like ultimately want to like move on to like be a Seventh Avenue designer or be an established designer and to go beyond like uh -huh. the club. And who the hell do I think I am suggesting that you're all Meredith Wells? I am oh, corrected. Hello. You're saying yeah. you're saying that you are See. you are professionally right. motivated here. <laughs> Some of these styles make their way into mainstream uh, couture. Well, oh, Is that yeah. something? Yes. Almost oh, definitely. Oh, right. They don't come and copy yeah. Right. <laughs> Sophia, welcome. Yeah. We're so glad you're here. Love yeah, your hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are um, yeah. You're in, the, how often, how many nights a week do you go out? Only three. Only three. This is by your own discipline, is that it? Mm -hmm. Because it can get you, huh? After a while, you start to exactly. wear down. Sure. Now, do you work for the club, or do you just go to the club? I work any? for the club. <laughs> when you say you work for the club, what does that mean? What are your responsibilities? Well, I'm there, like, um, as a model, as a, you know, decoration. Decoration. She's been on the runways of Paris, too. Uh, she what? She's been on the runways of Paris as a model, so using the club, she, she got herself into Paris exactly. and, and she was an inspiration for a designer. Right. By designer. Now, so is this a situation things, you know? where somebody stands outside the door and decides who gets in? That's me. That's you. Yeah. And then, in order in, to get in, I would be, if I dressed up to be crazy and you like my costume, I would get in. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Do black people get in? Of course. They yeah. do. Well, I, I was, you want, you want a, a clientele, no, 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 though, no, 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 that, no. isn't that the whole You want a mix. Is? It's very important to have a mix. You want to have people in suits and ties. If it's just too much color, then it doesn't matter. What's the matter? I just like to know how much do you get paid to put these get ups on? I'm not that I'm disrespecting you or anything. It's just that. There's a difference to me between fun and outrageous, you know, and I respect all of you because you're standing up and this is what you want to do, but 
I mean, uh, what kind of life, how often do you plan on doing this? And I also want to ask you, what do you well, think of RuPaul? Is he like your mentor or? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir, you wanted to say. Um, one of them said down there that it's a fantasy and they like living it. How long does the fantasy last? As long as you want it to. It, there, there doesn't have to be an end. As long as you're, you're living your life, being happy, not doing any harm to anybody else, and making money, then why should it ever have to end? Phil. For some people, it often is a fantasy. Mine, but... Michael, you wanted to say. Yeah, 